Ready? Ya. Yeah. En nombre de Dios Todopoderoso. Fierro, ahí va. And we're back. Tiempo te pide mi daré. Me voy, me voy, me voy. You remember that song? Dude, I used to love Quebradita. Quebradita was when I, it was hard when I was about like five years old. And I remember I used to have like the whole outfit, las barbitas, el oh, chicote, yeah, 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 las botas yeah. hasta acá arriba. Yeah, I remember that. Quebradita <clears throat> was a shit. Las, uh, las botines, mm -hmm. el botines. Banda la, móvil. El chalequillo de barbillas. Yeah. I remember that had that. ¿Quién más? Era banda machos, banda móvil. Ooh, muchos, muchos, but uh, okay. how the hell are you? Oh my God. Honestly, I'm exhausted. So if I look like shit, it's because I'm so effing tired from this past week slash weekend. Well, first of all, thank you. Welcome back. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, yes. Welcome Episode back. Episode number four. Four. Welcome wow. back to Mayra y el Randy. Nos encanta bailar mucho, so por favor, síganos en el Instagram para más vernos bailar. What? Why are you being a hater? Oh. Anyways, bienvenidos yes, y bienvenidas. We are todos, here again. Todos y cada uno de ustedes. Yes, welcome back. Thank we're you. we're excited. This is episode four. We have a lot of juicy <clears throat> things we want to talk about. But I want to talk about our weekend because I feel like for real, neta, neta. Yeah, you look kind of busted. That is so fucked up because <laughs> I actually put on lippy stick. Oh, I me eché una manita de gato. Es todo, mi amor. No, but you look kind of busted like... I busted like this. Like, Se, segura, seguramente tú no. Yo no al cien. No. Me, me eché mi Slim Fast en la mañana. A ver, déjalo. Cuéntale. Me eché mi Slim Fast. Me eché mi, mi burrito. Y, y una, una dona. Una dona y un monstruito. <laughs> Se chingó. Para andar al cien. Un shake, el burrito y luego la dona. Qué, <laughs> <laughs> qué dieta. Y no cualquier shake. Era un Slim Fast. Eh. Ah. No, Slim Fast. Cuidado con el Slim Fast. <laughs> Anyways, welcome and yeah, I'm excited. It feels like it feels like it's been forever. You know why it feels like forever? Because we had a long ass week. Yeah, probably. So for all of you that know or don't know, um, it was Valentina's birthday party this weekend, La Fiesta de Valentina. And we're just tired. It's fiesta, so no. hard. Honestly, it's hard hosting a party. Yeah. He was in the grocery that come out of those beaches weenies. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, I I really thought I could handle it, but como que viendo la no no trae nada. Salieron bien negro. Ese pedo de andar ahí en la cocina como que no. No y el peor del caso que tenía ahí tenía un chingo de inspectores ahí. Ah, mi amata, mi apá, tal compadre, todos. Y, Ay, compadre, hágale así. Y muévele ahí. Y, te, 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 mira, y, aquí. y todos opinaban, pero nadie ayudaba. Ay, no, lo más tragando. <risa> Opinan, pero <risa> no ayudan, pero tragando, sí. Ay, mira, y muévele. Y, mira, ese, y, ay, Paco, ay, hazte pa, Y mira cómo le. Ay, ya. Y ahí estoy yo en chinga. Pobrecito. Ay, ay, fuck. ¿Qué, was ¿qué so... hago? ¿Qué hago aquí? No, like, compadre, hágale así. Muévale, ay. Nadie me da. Like literally, Nadie. I would look at you, and if you were like sweaty, you were like, was, yeah, yeah, you yeah, were like really honestly was. pretty stressed. <laughs> yeah, if if uh if you guys ever done parties, yeah, you you guys know the stress that goes behind it. I don't know. No me quedaron ganas. No, me either. And now that we talk about it, it's just like, why do? Okay, well, I mean, for Valentina's third birthday, she did si pedio. I know. Como. I don't remember ever having a party like that. No. Me acuerdo cuando a nosotros nos tiramos un parecido nomás un pastelillo ajá, y la piñata ya. Y la piñata y el gorrito que no falta el gorrito uh -huh. con sus, sus bolsitas. Pero ahora no, 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 ya está muy extravagante el pedo ya. Pichis bombas y I know. Que recuerdos. Right. Y centerpieces y la chingada. No, hombre, esos pichis gastaron nomás de feria. Eh. No, neta it is. And we came to an agreement. <coughs> Whatever we have next, if it's a boy or girl, it's like. Y ahora el que viene el otro ya se chingó porque ya no va a haber nada. No, it's just like the first and the second birthday. It's something intimate with the family. They don't remember anyways. Like this first, Valentina's third birthday, ya sí pidió that she wanted Minnie Mouse. You know, so I just feel like the first yeah, and the second, yeah. they really don't remember. So why the hell did we go all out to begin with? Para darnos el paquetazo, no, que eso estúpido. Y luego dice, no, no, pues, no, yo no me quedo ganas de hacer fiesta. No, espérate que viene la quinceañera. Oh, hell oh. no. I hope she doesn't want to, I hope she doesn't I want a quinceañera. I hope she just wants to like travel or do something. Did you have a quinceañera? No, hell no. ¿Y eso? 
Okay. I am, believe it or not, I don't like to be center of attention at all. Like, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Dude, it's so crazy. I really. Okay, right, because that's just me and my phone. But if you would put me on a stage or you would be like, oh, Mayra está cumpliendo 15 años, I told my parents, I was like, I do not want one porque I'm embarrassed. I was embarrassed to be in my dress. Yeah, you bailando el vals que me levanten. So stupid. Pero yo iba a ser tu chambelán. You were 13. I know, no te conocía, ¿verdad? No, todavía no. But yeah, no, it was, it was a pretty interesting weekend. Yeah, Interesting. it was. And then Easter was the next day. It was crazy. Easter, I think a lot yeah. of parents out there are pretty exhausted because it was a pretty long weekend. Kids were out. And I y, mean, <sighs> sí, y así es como quedó este. Un camisotón. Ay, ya camino que, que hice. Ay, well, my shirt says panzona. I love this shirt because <laughs> tiene doble sentido. I, si estoy panzona, I'm pregnant. Y todas tenemos panza. Y la que diga que no tiene panza no es pinche hipócrita. So, how do you feel? How do you feel with your pregnancy? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. So I'm 21 weeks. I'm sitting, I'm sitting at 162 pounds. I'm still exercising. I mean, I'm trying, you know, I try, but yeah. tampoco, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going balls to the walls, but I mean, I feel good. No more morning sickness. I feel good. What do you think it's going to be? <laughs> we don't know what's going to be. And this is, it's been like a, a complete 180 of a, of a pregnancy. Yes. And the, uh, Valentina, like no sickness. Nah, como, andabas, como, si nada. I craved pork. <coughs> ah, sí, carne y todo ese pedo. Ahora esta, o este. Uh, no, nada, ¿verdad? Ni pollo, ni pura lechuguita nomás. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so different y todos. Pues va a ser niño, porque esto y lo otro. Yo <laughs> pienso, it's just like, whatever it is. Like, I don't know. Either way, it's going to be a surprise because if it's a girl, Valentina has a sister and if it's a boy, it's a brand new experience for both of us because hello, you know? Pues que nos digan ahí las comadres que tienen experiencia. ¿Qué, qué? Si va a ser niña o niño. Oh, yeah. A ver, comment but, below y díganos. Yeah, it's different, different pregnancy. El primero, no, no, nada. nada Nothing. Sintoma, I was nada. fine. Este. <laughs> Pobrecita yo. Yeah, like, like skin rashes, morning sickness. I don't crave stuff. It's just different. It really yeah. is. And you know what's funny? Uh, Everybody always asks us. Or you can say, what does everyone ask? Oh, yeah. Ay, ya, man. Pues ya tenemos la niña, ¿verdad? Van a querer el niño. I was like, ah. Uh. Bueno, pues, sinceramente, pues, pues, como quien dice, la íbamos de ganar, ¿no? Si es niño, pues, yeah, cool. Pues, si es niña, pues, también, you know? Pero la neta, sí queremos como una hermanita para Valentina. Yeah, we, we want her to have a sister so she can have that relationship, <coughs> that bond. But it's funny porque cuando nos preguntan, ¿qué quieren? ¿Quieren el niño, verdad? And I'm like, no, queremos una niña. ¿A poco quieren niña? ¿Y Randy sí quiere niña? Él, no, él, él quiere niño. And it's like... Oh, Randy es una niña. <laughs> no, hija. <laughs> es la princesa de la casa. <laughs> no, but it's just... It's, to me, it's so funny how everyone right away, it's like, I get it. Obviously, I do one day want a boy in, uh, yeah. in the family. But why is it that it's like, it tiene que ser niño. Or like, even with the first pregnancy, todos, quiero que sea niño el primero. It's like, why though? Like, I mean, obviously, you're very special to me. But, Gracias. But why is it that it just feels like boys are praised more than girls? Like, why? I just feel like girls, desde chiquitas, pobrecitas, they're, they're discredited. Like, oh, pues, ah, oh, tuvieron una ni niñita, a lo mejor para la otra tienen el niño. It's like well, when a boy's born, it's not like, ay, pobrecitos, tuvieron el niño, ojalá para la otra sea la niñita. Never! Bueno, pues, I, yo pienso como que el niño es importante porque, pues, they take, uh, they, o sea, they carry your last name, right? So, pues ahí va la matando, ¿sí me entiendes? But according to who, why is it that women have to lose their identity and take no, away their no. last name? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason why, but I assume, I assume that's why. Right? Como, por ejemplo, if, if we don't have a, a boy, pues ahí ya se chingó los pérez porque pues ahí ya, ya no hay. Mm -hmm. y, pues, but Valentina could. She could, when she get married, she could say, you know what? I want to keep my last name, Perez. True, but I mean, it's usually, you know, the, the other way, right? Like when you get married, pues. You know what this is sounding like? Let me look something up real quick. Ahora, ¿qué vas a sacar? <clears throat> this word, machismo, Spanish word. <laughs> this is from Urban Dictionary. Well, how's, well, go for it. I don't think there's a direct English word for machismo, but it says, one, having an unusual high or exaggerated sense of masculinity, including an attitude that, 
that aggression, strength, sexual powers, power and control is a measure of someone's manliness. The belief in the right to dominate and control, including but not limited to control over women. And the machismo was actually originated, like it originated around like the 1930s from Latin America. So it comes from like macho, el macho hombre. El macho men. Eso. But no. Yo ando macho men. No, no, tú no eres macho. Neta, you're not. You know? no, 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 eres un macho. Eh, eh, tampoco, <laughs> tampoco. Eh, aquí tú sabes que conmigo. No, no, ya sé. Allí topo con tronco. I get it. But in, in the Latin Mexican culture, Ajá. el machismo siempre anda al 100. ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué? No te, no, no te entiendo. All the Explícame. time, all the time. Explícate, I mean, por favor. Where can I begin? El machismo. Men with against their wives. Well, I, I mean, a ver, a ver, a ver. Elaborate a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Because I mean, uh, I mean, I have a lot to say. Don't get me started, No girl. es que le tenga contra los hombres, pero a la misma vez. Okay, so like. To begin with, hay unos hombres, Ajá. right? Oh, well, there, the simple fact to begin with. Okay, yeah, like, que quieren que, o oh, que, que el niño, siempre que los niños, y luego los niños, it's always, they're, they're entitled to do more. But what I'm, okay. So for me, it's like, how many men are there que no dejan a las viejas trabajar? Que no quieren que las viejas trabajen, que nomás estén en la casa. Pues que a tu madre, ¿a poco no te gustaría que te tuviera aquí en la casa? Hell no. Because no? oh. imagine, viejo, se me antoja, quiero unos calzones, me das dos dólares para ir a comprar unos a la no, mamá. No, señora. Al suazme, <laughs> al suazme, no, <laughs> señora. That, like there's... Oh, okay, I get it. There's a lot of machismo and I'm... And eh, no, bueno, pues eh, un dominguito, sí, un dominguito, no. Mira, vieja, me sobraron diez baros, vámonos al, a la pulguita ya. A ver, but, a ver qué hay, a ver qué encontramos. Yeah, but then again, it's like that's the man dictating what they're going to do with their... See, w when I think of machis machismo, machista, whatever, uh -huh. I feel like th that's a, uh, it's a strong word como like, oh, like, you know, you beat up your wife or... That, that's also... Oh. Or, uh, pues sí, o sea, como que anda aquí y allá y pinche como Gabino Barrera. ¿Sí me entiendes? También. Y pinche acá, pues... Hey, que tráeme este volada ahí. Hey, órale. También. All you know, that. I, that. I feel like that's my... But I, you really don't see that. I mean, that's probably like in the old days. Allá en el rancho. Yo Hell creo que se, no. Se, se acostumbraba así, you ¿no? Know? Que pues... Uh, y sí, o sea, dices... Chingado, pues estas morras, ¿por qué estarán así, you no? Know? No. Okay. <laughs> I hear about this all the damn time. And it's like, one of the main ones, honestly, it's like, yeah, que el viejo no deja a la vieja trabajar porque quiere que esté en la casa. Pero que esté en la casa just like serving 100% because it's like el, pues el machismo. Bien, but, but is that really, like, why though? Why? Bueno, bueno, pero pues si el hombre ocupa atención. Y la mujer no. Pues también, pero pues el hombre, pues es él va acá, partirse el, el lomo y, hey, atiéndeme bien, mis frijolitos, mi arrocito, mi pollito. Oh, hell no. Y luego llega el viejo, kicks his legs up on the couch, sírveme, hazme de tragar. Claro, and it's like, ¿y a poco la vieja claro. no se parte la madre cleaning the house and doing everything all day? Bueno, bueno, pero pues es que de tomos el hombre se levanta temprano en la mañanita para irse a jalar. Y la vieja no hacerle de tragar. Pues ponle que no, ¿verdad? Bueno, pues ponle que sí, pero se levanta ya como que a las, ¿para qué te gustan? Las ocho, nueve. El vato ya anda de las, de las cuatro. Andamos en pie. No. Andamos, me amo incluido, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, no, pero uh, it, bueno, here and this and this is the thing. I feel like uh machista nowadays, like now in in, in 2019, mm -hmm. uh I feel like it's more like uh como te idea. Como a shot caller, I guess in a way. Yeah, that too. And but see, that's not like a machista. It's, The, the thing is, like, people kind of make up their fucking goddamn minds. Hey, I'm hungry. All right, you're hungry. What do you want to eat? I don't know. Uta madre. Like, what do you mean? But that's not... Oh. Well, that's what I mean. And that's why, that's why the man... No, but, but, that, but that, that's why a man has to be like, Sasuke, I'm going to pitch you Subway. I'm going to... Wow, a McDonald's. you know what? I'd like to take a poll. Hey. How many girls that are watching this right now, their boyfriend or husband knows exactly what they want to eat and they're like... I don't know whatever you want. <laughs> well, you what, pick. And then I'm like, I'm giving you three options. Well, I don't know out of the three. Don't say see, like men know but, exactly what they want to eat when they go out. But that's what I mean. Like, we always got to take the decision. We always have to make the last call. 
Always. According to who, though? According to us. According to men. Yeah, but, but why? But that's what I mean because, because if if obviously we'll 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 let you guys have the lead, but that at the at the end of the day you're just like, oh, but I don't know. It's like ah. Oh, no, but that's just taking initiative. That's okay. Having like control, like okay, but yeah, that's like, not being machista. No, man. it's not. No, you're right. Like so I don't the, get it. No, I don't get it. Okay, look, machista. Power, yeah. No, machista is that, and I believe too that it comes back to like how men are raised. So my have machista is yeah having that mindset. Like I get it. Like women, it's a partnership in a home. The way we talked about in our previous podcast, it is a partnership. But at what cost? That's what I'm saying. Like, even like right now, okay, it's the man and, and woman that work in a household. Uh-huh. And then, okay, the two work, right? They're both providers. They come home. And why is it that the wife always has to come home and partice la madre cook and the man come, can come home and just like do nothing? Because he has that, that, that feeling, that pride of entitlement. Like, I am not, I know, I work too, but I am the man, so she has to serve me. Why is that okay? Why can't the man do that sometimes too? Why is it embedded in them that women have to serve 100%? Don't women have the right to get served as well? Pues también. Yeah, but why don't men do that then? Porque ahí están los restaurantes para que te van a servir. Hell no, you know? And then it goes back to also like, ¿cuántos hombres? Oh, pues si yo me voy a levantar a las 3 de la mañana, mi vieja se tiene que levantar a las 2 a tortear. A la chica. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. But if your wife worked at 3 in the morning, would your fucking fat ass wake up and también hacerle eh, tortillas? Sin ofender, sin ofender. Would, would your ass... Por favor. Would, would your ass... Well, big booty. Not saying you in general, like a big booty. <clears throat> would, would you get up... And do tortillas for your wife. And Yo sí. You're Yo such a... Mi, mi amor, me tortillas. Claro que sí, mi amor. Oh. ¿Cuántas quieres? So pacharte? that's el machismo. ¿Cuántas gorditas quieres para echarte? That's what I'm talking about. This is el machismo. Like, uh, a one uh, way... Serving one... More, serving someone more than the other. Now, okay. I... I'm going to be honest with you. Do I change a light bulb? No. Okay, no, I don't. Do I like to take out the trash? No. Uh, do I like to do the lawn? Obviously not. No. So, yeah. And then, okay. So maybe I'm wrong too because I'm thinking there's gender roles, right? Because that well, could yeah. be something wrong too. But for me, I'm like, I would never do that. A, like I could never see myself yendo a la pinche Home Depot cuando tengo mi esposo that he could do that. But yeah. maybe it's like I'm in my wrong too because there, that's me maybe contradicting myself. Like there's gender roles. But I just feel like I, I'm not... I, I shouldn't be at Home Depot if my husband if I have a husband that can do that for me. If I was single, was obvio quién más me lo va a hacer, you yeah. know? But yeah, that's not machista though. No, but what I'm saying. So is am I contradicting myself for having these gender roles? Well, that maybe kind of like I like I said, machista. I feel like it's 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 a it's a bad term. Like machistas, you offend somebody, no? My Jesus being like uh, abusive. That's what I think when I when I. And there's men that do hit their wives. Hasta la fecha, though. Yeah. Hasta la fecha, hay hombres que se chingan a las viejas, and it's the truth. Y a veces the excuse that women make is, es porque está pedo. Oh, vino a la casa bien pedo y me chingó. <laughs> but, es es amor. And what's the message that you're sending to your kids that are <clears throat> watching your daughters? You know what? The, my father beats my mom, so it's going to be okay for my husband to beat the shit out of me too. That happens till now. We can't say que son, son de tiempos de antes because that shit still happens. Yeah. But tú también eres... Y luego cuando tú me regañas, ¿qué es eso? ¿Feminista? No, yo te pego con pleitos de amor. ¿Ya ves? No, Ahí como no dijo mi mamá, no te regaño, te estoy corrigiendo, no, no, te eso, estoy eso, educando. Eso es feminista también. Cualquier cosa me grita. Ay, cuando vamos a la pinche Walmart, a la HB. Oh, sí. eh, quiero comprar unas galletitas. Deja ahí. No te estás agarrando ahí. Sí, mi amor, sí. God, we have such a funny story. <laughs> so, me and Randy fuck around, right? So, whenever we go shopping, well, we go to HB when, for our groceries. And um, we'll fuck around. Like, there's people around. And then, <laughs> if it's like, obviously, if we, well, whatever it is that he wants to get. Babe, uh, ¿puedo agarrar estas galletitas? Ya te dije que no, pon esos para atrás, ya para qué quieres tragar. Oh, okay, mi amor, ya. Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. Ya yeah, no te enojes, don't get mad, babe. 
or like for carrando cheese or carne, whatever it is. But it's so hilarious. But I'm not like that. The Pokemon is because we're not The abusiva. purpose behind it is because you peep other people's reaction. Their yes. Faces. Yes. Not because like ever. No, that is not. <laughs> You've missed that part. You need to clear up everything here. Okay, it's just yeah, <laughs> we get a kick out of it. Yeah. Okay, but there's okay. You don't think okay. Or maybe I maybe I'm not getting maybe for me my cheese is like a it's a big broad spectrum, right? Because for me and my cheese mold too would be the man saying, Hey, you could only spend fifty dollars on groceries. Y si gastas más, me vas a decir que no, lo eso es ser ahorrativo. No, it's not. Yes, Pero it para, para ir a pinche pistear los viernes con los compas, muy bien que no. Eso salió ya sobrando, es la ganancia. So, okay, so you don't think that's machismo? No. Where it's like the man after Friday payday, he has the right to go get fucked up with his friends and the wife claro, is out home taking care of the kids? Claro, claro, hace falta una cervecita para pa celebrar que salió la semana. Fuck that. If I was married to a man like that, I would not last. And props to all the women that could make that shit last because for me, I'd be like, what the fuck? ¿Por qué no? Hay que ir a celebrar. Y ya cuando te toca un calzoncito, pues ya vamos allá a, a, a comparte uno barato. Look at my face. I don't even know what to yeah. say right now. I'm kind of like, bueno, bueno, ¿y a todo esto qué? Well, ¿A ti qué? ¿Machista qué? ¿O qué? No, because okay, okay, that, that shit has to end. Why is it that it's so generational? Oh, I'm over here spitting? Yeah. Why is it so generational? Why is it that it's like, it takes like 10 generations for machismo to die within a family. Instead you know of what I noticed of, of you? Or, yeah, I noticed of you, of your persona. What? Like, you, uh, not... Sin ofender. No, no, no. You don't bash on men, on men, but you, like, uh... Point out their deficiencies. Not necessarily, but They're I don't weak. know. There's something, there's something deep in that root that... That makes you want to empower women. Hell yeah. But I don't know, like, what happened? Like, or, or why is it there? I don't get Were it. Are you beaten? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, going back to um, the episode three, hello. Like, I mean, my dad never hit me in my life, and I never saw him ever hit my mom. Uh -huh. Ever. I've never, even, my dad has never even cussed at me or to any of my brothers. I've never heard my, even my dad say like pendejo ever. My yeah, mom, yeah, 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 my mom's the one that cusses a lot. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows who my mom is. But I was, how I said, raised where it's like there was, uh, my brothers were favored. They could do right. so much more and it bothered me. And that's why I feel like the second I got the opportunity to go away to college, I took that opportunity because my curfew was 9.30 and I was fucking 20. So do you, do you think... That's why a lot of a lot of uh, females, young females, are leaving their houses at a young age. Maybe is that why? Yes. You, I, or you think maybe that's that's probably why? Yes, because they probably feel like you know what? At home, my parents don't let me do, or my dad, or maybe yeah, my mom, yeah, whatever. Yeah. My dad doesn't let me do shit. Mejor me ir con el pinche novio porque él sí me va a sacar y luego le va peor y luego no la saca. Yeah, and see. That uh, that itself, I think that's like super machista, you know, like because you want to grab onto your daughter, right? For me, like see, now I'll, we're talking, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's no, no. Insane. See, okay, now it makes sense, right? Okay. But you just it's because I, I think I was coming at so many yeah, different yeah, yeah. angles because I came, yeah. You came like just machista, like, what the fuck? Anyways, but like for me, like I would want to raise my daughter as to be a strong, independent woman, to not fucking depend on some guy, right? But at the same time, like I'm gonna give her the liberty. And the trust, as long as she gives me the trust and we can, you know, mutually, you know, agree on, on stuff. But if once she breaks that trust, now we have a problem. We have to address it and then we got to, you know, see what we can do. But I wouldn't I wouldn't hold Valentina from like you said, you can even go to a football game or to the movies or uh, sleepovers. I don't know. Bowling, don't know. cosmic bowling, bowling at yeah. nighttime, you know, stuff like that activities. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, 15, 16, that's when they start, you know, like wanting to do those type of activities. Um, and that's where you need to be mo most more care careful, right? So I don't know. I, I just, I think I would have or I want to develop that trust where I'm like, yeah, I mean, well, I'm down. I'll take you. Just call me and I'll, pick, I'll come pick you up. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And this is the way I've always looked at it. And I tell all of our friends that are going to be 
dads to daughters, or I've even told this, uh, I've told you this before. And I have said the, the dad, mm -hmm. for example, us, you are the one setting that standard for Valentina. You are literally going to be her first love. And that man that shows her how a woman is supposed to be treated. So if you raise little girls in a machista household where they're not able to go out, where they're suppressed, where they see the mom being hit or they see the mom just slaving all day, serving, that's yeah. what they're going to think. That's what life is. And it's like, no, like that's, it's okay to serve your husband. Of course it is. I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that's not bad, but it's bad when it's like, that's all they're seeing and they're not able to do shit because what happens? Yeah. Like the second they leave their house, and luego le va peor con el novio. That's the same cycle. Yeah, and over that's and, over and that's over what over. as little girls, that's what they're seeing. That this is what's okay. Like yeah. my dad was like this. Yeah, and that that cycle, it's like a chain that never breaks. Exactly. Ever, and it doesn't break, and it's very hard to because you end up trying to marry someone, and it's the truth. They always say you end up marrying someone like like your dad, like how that man raised you, and and it's I'm gonna be honest. Like my dad, he never hit me. My dad never cussed at me but my dad was a very hard worker and he helped my mom. It was like, it was, a it was a, a team approach with my parents. Mm -hmm. And with you, it's not honestly, and I'm not sure you're coding this. You've never once cussed at me like, Oh, well, fuck you. Tu no sirves pa nada, vete pa la chingada. Or oh. like hit me. What the hell? Because for me, the way I see it, how my dad set the standard, if the most important man in my life growing up never hit me, I am not going to allow that. So that's why for me, it's like, men, like you have to stop thinking like that. Like, keeping your daughter so locked up or hitting your wife because that's just another cycle yeah. that's going to happen. So yeah, that, that makes sense now. You're starting to make sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I have a perfect example. So we have some family friends. I was young. I was like 15. We went to their wedding. Um, and I remember the dad, I'm not going to obviously say any names. He told my dad like, Oh, pues fíjese, Um, Don Jose, pues yo, pues sí, con mi hija se casó a los 19 años y nunca salió a un baile, nunca salió a las películas. <laughs> Ella se salió de blanco aquí de mi casa and all this stuff. And my dad was just like nodding my head. Yeah, and my that, oldest brother was there. That sounds like a machista. Hell yeah. And my and my brother, my oldest brother was there listening and he was just like, okay. So at, when we were driving back home, my dad was like, Apa, usted si piensa lo que fulano dijo era bien? And my dad just like kind of was like, he didn't know what to say, right? And he was like, usted si piensa que... Uno debe estar orgulloso que a la hija no la deje hacer nada y se fue con el novio, se quiso casar los 19. Que yeah. uno quisiera ver sus hijas, aunque sea crecer <clears throat> en su casa, like still be at home, like at whatever age. If they're going to leave, let them leave because they are independent or they want to go study or do something, not because they're lacking something at home. So they right. go seek it in another house. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree. And I'm sure that's a problem, right? And that's why a lot of these families, they just continue that same cycle. Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's generational. Like, it takes so many generations for right, it to break. To break, yeah, yeah. And now, okay, like you're saying, like, tengo algo contra los hombres. I don't, okay? Because también, <laughs> I'm going to say something about us women that I personally, it's my damn opinion. You can agree or disagree. We're at fault, too, because here's the thing. Okay. No, no me echas lonche? A ver. I <laughs> but I, I, I cook dinner every day so here's the thing with a lot of women you you have differences between the boys and the girls okay and then you see that you're like why is my why was my mom like that with my brothers like hey they they, uh, they spoon fed them until they're 45 and and you know they complain about their husbands no, they, yeah, yeah. they complain about their husbands being like that. Y luego con los boys, they're doing, ex like you girls are doing exactly the same thing with your little boys. Oh, a mi hijo pobrecito, no, toma. Ay, toma, yo te hice esto, te hice el otro. It's like, so what are you doing to the boys? You are creating boys with that same mindset that la mujer te debe de hacer todo. And then your boy gets ends up getting married and then you see that and you're like, Oh, but I still want to suck on my mom's titty. Yeah. And it's like, what the hell? Like women, we're producing. Babe, is that okay? I'll be back. I'm going to go suck on my mom's titty. Yeah. What the fuck? You create, <laughs> you end up creating these weak ass men that don't even know how to fold their own clothes. They don't know how to wash. They don't know how to cook or do anything. And then what happens is you end up talking about your nuera saying like, Ay, pues mi pinche nuera no le hace nada al esposo. It's like, but why? Yeah, this motherfucker wants to suck on his mom's titties. Right. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. No, so I it's get like, it. I get it. It, like, no, like we, women, we can't do this to boys either because you, just as much as you want to make it women independent, <sighs> like, lava los pinches trastes, uh, 
laven los pinches calzones a mano y que limpien esto y que trapien like all this stuff why can't you do that with men too like so true, they can true. be self-sufficient like like my dad cuando se vino de México pues al norte pues él solo aprendió a hacer de comer because there was no one like he, he didn't have his mom so I feel like back then or maybe I could be right or wrong I just feel like back then the men didn't have a choice so they had to learn and do it on their right. own versus now it's like we want to be like pero, pero like, yo mi amor por eso te lavo te plancho uso puro palmolive <laughs> para los trastes no no estoy perro yo oh God. dishwasher no todo. you help a lot to it it's it's Nice bit. No, it's a <laughs> <laughs> it's a team approach. I think it's just like we have to eliminate el machismo and really look at everything as a team approach. <clears throat> you know, okay, like if you if you don't want your wife to work because you just have this idea that women should just be at home raising kids, okay. If you do not want her to work, I'm not saying porque hay unas que sí son huevonas y no quieren trabajar and they don't want to, okay? But I'm saying that like, but think about it. Y si los dos se parten la pinche madre, ¿qué más? You guys can have more together. Right, teamwork. You, yeah, so it's just like break that machismo fucking bullshit and make everything a team approach to have more in life. Ahí me dejan su sugerencia. Ando buscando un detergent. No sé si usar downy o tire. Ahí me dejan sus comments. <laughs> Para lavar mis ropita. Downy is a softener. Tight is actual. Oh. <laughs> so use both, no? Yo creo. Pero si te lavo machín la ropita, no? Huele bonita y todo el show. No. Okay. <laughs> you help. You help. No, no, no. And here's the thing. Like, yo también. I'm guilty. Like, I'm not going to lie. If Randy's not at home at night, <clears> I feel <throat> a little bit scared, honestly, when he. So you need your macho men. I do. When when you when you are with me, I feel secure at night. Honestly, like the times, like obviously, Valentina está chiquita and you had to like be out of town or lo que sea. A mí me daba, it's like, te duermes con un ojo cerrado y el otro abierto. Because honestly, for me, in the back of my own, what I think, I'm not scared of espíritus or anything. What I am scared of is like someone breaking in my, in the house. So like, that's what I get scared of. And I'm like, what the fuck would I do? I would lock myself. I would call, like, those are the types of, those are the train of thoughts I have. But when you're home, I'm like, okay, like, obviously. And that's what I'm saying. Like, there, I, I do believe that there shouldn't be mach, machismo, como se llama, pero there is gender roles. Because a poco... That someone's trying to break in the house a poco. Corre, vieja. Corre, mi amor. Tú. Oh, is a mí no me da miedo los espíritus? No, que va. Oh, my. You are... <laughs> Dang. Tú solo te vas a descubrir. So, Randy... <sighs> Ay. He is scared. He is scared of espíritus. No, señor. No, you're not? No, no. Aquí traigo la Ave María Purísima. Dude, Dude talk about... Tiempo. Talk about that time. <laughs> when, you guys want to know? Yeah, they do. No, well, it was... Uh, Valentina was... Like, maybe couple of weeks born no no i was Few trying months? to uh when you're off the i was it was like she was like six months already oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you're right you're right right yeah she was six months and uh yeah you were trying to take her off the titty yes just say it who cares okay. Estamos confianza aquí <laughs> con todos los millones de views. <laughs> anyways uh we we're trying to take valentina off the titty and the uh como se dicen a los pinches que lo iba al doctor, ¿cómo se llaman? Los pediatric? Yeah. A pediatrician. Pediatrician, yeah. Pediatrician, she's like, oh, we'll just, uh, you know, start training her, let her cry. They'll eventually get over it. Okay, They're not going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, fuck it. So, ahí estamos. In the middle of the night. And uh, Valentina kept crying and crying and crying and crying. Then I looked at my clock, at my watch, and it was like three, my phone, pues. Who, who uses watches anymore, right? <laughs> I Actually, my, my oldest brother does. <laughs> Hold on, let me stop you real quick. That's a different story. Okay, go, go. No, no. so it was my my oldest brother. Sorry, no, no. <laughs> he was like, hey, sister, it's going to be Rosalba's birthday. What should I get her? I'm like, man, get her a nice freaking watch. And he was like, a watch? No one uses watch to tell time. Like, they use a freaking... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, brother, no one uses watches to tell time. It's more como. It's just a look. Yeah, yeah a look. But the watch is. Uh, uh. Walk it. Anyway, okay, okay, go, go, go. so back to my story. Uh, I looked at my phone. It was like three in the morning. And you know all those hor horror movies. Que a las pinches tres de la mañana pues sale el. El Lucifer. Los, sale el Espíritu Chucarrero. Y este, so uh, I had the bedroom door open. 
And Pues Valentina's crying and crying and crying. And I'm looking like towards towards the towards the door, but it's dark. You can't see anything. And right when you walk out our bedroom, you, or you can see our kitchen back here. And but you know, I you, it's those times when you start, you know, thinking You believe in spirits. You but, do. <laughs> but yeah, I got I'm like, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, you start thinking like fuck. No sé que mirar algo así ahorita o que se me pareciera alguien ahorita y you, you know you just like fuck dude fuck so anyway so Valentina's crying and crying and crying and crying and crying and yo así despierto so anyways I start like looking towards the door and then dude all of a sudden <laughs> I'm telling you this is like movie setup the freaking light on the stove flickered or turned no, on turned on it like completely turned on. So that right there initially is like fucking freaked me the fuck. I was like, oh, babe. I was like, dude, the the light. And she's like, and Maida's like, okay. <laughs> then, no, 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 not, not, not right there. But then the the light. So it, it, it went on and then like a probably 30 seconds later, it turned off. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm out. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm out. And so... So I'm like in, uh, on the on the side of the bed, and, and I was like, <gasps> I was like, babe, the 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 fucking light turned on, and it turned off. And she's like, yeah, calma. I was like, babe, I was like, reza, reza, reza. Come on, reza, un padre nuestro. And, yeah, I was like, and he was pale. He I was, was pale, dude. White. And and I got up. I got, I got up the bed, and I walked towards the door. But you know those times when you're like walking towards the door, and you're just like, fuck it. I'm just like, ah, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like okay so I went to the the stove and the fucking switch was it wasn't turned off correctly it's like a knob so it was like half ways so yeah it was an electrical error but you know me and I was just like que los de somos macho men. oh see dude <laughs> but she you must, but. but yeah but you <laughs> <laughs> you really believe in spirits like that and um, I, I believe in science. I, I mean, I don't know if I believe in spirits, but shit, better believe I'm fucking scared of walking in the middle of the night like in a field. Fuck that. Oh my. I wouldn't do that. But what's going to happen? Nothing. You don't know that? What is fucking. I don't know. Pichi. La llorona sale ahí la chingada. See, I would be scared to like someone that's there that wants to cause harm. But <laughs> for me to be like, okay, el pinche, el, la pata peluda is going to come or la llorona. It's like, dude. El chupacabra. El chupacabras. Ta cabron, dude. No. You don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know, man. No, there's always an explanation. <sighs> See, like you got freaked out right away. It's like, what's the first thing that happens when you freak out? Uh, que el pinche diablo. But it was pues a freaking sí. light switch. Pues sí, sí, there's sí, always sí. an explanation towards like that spirit thing. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, what were we talking about? Dude, see? That <laughs> Should we just rewind this and <laughs> listen back to it? Well, no, we were just talking about, I don't know, spirit, but no, it, it was just. Oh, going. like you feel safe at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. So I do. So I do feel safe at night when you're there. So for me, it's just, well, yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I do. Well, I need you for so many. But I need you to answer me this. What? You don't have anything against men. Are you okay? No, I don't because I have an amazing dad and three amazing older brothers. I just feel you you bash a little bit too. I, no, no, no. Well, obviously the reason I bash a lot more it's because to begin with, like I told you how it's like I was the youngest girl out of three older brothers. Yeah, yeah. Not just that, but then all the women I train and then they tell me, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's funny how a lot of people can think like el, el machismo era de antes, yeah. but it's like it still exists. Like we, it <clears> still <throat> exists hasta la fecha because I hear it from women I train, like why they cannot. And that's why, and that's why for me, it's kind of like, but why does that even still exist? Why is that okay? Why are men okay? Why is it okay for a man to treat a woman like that? And I'm not saying no, See, no, but so. I don't know. But a lot of, a lot of these new millennial moms are, tienen la culpa, dude. A ver. Porque pues ahí están con el niño. Ay, mi boy. Ay, mi chiquito de chinga. And then, pues viene el papá acá. Ay, hijo la chinga. No le hables así. It's yeah, like, dude, what the no. fuck? You being little fucking vagina. No, yeah. See, I and I'm not okay with that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, 
That's why. You just need to toughen, toughen them up. No, you do. And that's why I always tell you, like, if we have a boy, uh-huh. pobrecito, it's going to be the same for him as it is for Valentina. Like, levanta tus pinches zapatos. A también a él lo voy a regañar. Ni modo que, ay, no le diga nada mi chiquito, pobre. Yeah. You know what? And now that I think about it, my mom was never like that with us. Honestly. Yeah. Like, she was Todos never, parejos. <laughs> now that I think about it, like, I remember, hey, mom, or oh, ya contaba más grande, see, like, I wanted to go play outside and shit, you know, and she's like, no, no, vas a salir, cabrón, hasta que no barras y trapees y saque la basura. It's like, fuck, I hated that shit. But that was the only way I could go outside, so. Me ponía en chinga trapear, ay, por eso estoy perrón para trapear. No, eh. you're, you're actually excellent con el fabuloso. Barrer y todo yeah. el pinche pedo, por eso salí cabrón yo. Yeah, no, but that could be like a millennial but, thing because it is true, like, I know, mean, who knows, it's just you. <laughs> But not necessarily a millennial thing. It's just, it's still, it's still a generational thing where women are just nurturing and catering to, yeah, some, 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 there's still a lot of women that do that. And obvio, like, you're going to take care of your kid. Ni que yo nunca le haga un caricio a Valentina, una caricia a Valentina, or if we have a son, but at the same time, I'm not going to disable my son so he's not self-sufficient. It's the same bullshit that we say, like, with your girls, you want them to be independent. You want them to look out for themselves. Boom, 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 boom. Same shit, because with your son, you also hope that he never has to rely 100% on a woman. Like, he knows how to turn on the fucking washer and wash his clothes. Si un día tiene hambre, se puede un pinche huevo algo con sal. Anything. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. you cannot do that because at the same time, you're hurting your children by just doing everything for them yeah yeah when you baby them too much yeah i think that that becomes a problem it's a big like <laughs> i see that sometimes and it just seriously bothers me so much see but are we doing a good or bad thing when we nurture our kids well you're supposed to nurture children so they live in or you want them to be raised in a happy home but obviously nurturing to the point where it's like, I'm going to buy you every toy you want. I am going to say yes to everything. You're mm-hmm. never wrong. I can never do this. I can never do that. Or I don't know, spanking. You know what I mean? Maybe I don't. It's just you can't nurture them 100 <laughs> percent. So why you get mad? Why you get mad at me when I nurture Valentina? No, porque. Like last time or a few <sighs> nights ago. No, but I'll explain. Well, don't yeah, just, I'm about to like uh it's already, you know, bedtime and I'm trying to put her to bed. And and we usually, well, well, we have the, uh, la maña pues de, the, to read her a story before bedtime. So, you know, I read her a story <laughs> and I was just making shit up. And, and then she, she's like, yeah, I was like, no, hold on. <laughs> she's like, yo, whack ass story. So anyway, so yeah, I ended up, uh, making up a story and, She's like, quiero otra historia. It's like, all right, our mama was, it's already late, you know, so we got to go to bed. And chingy, chingy, like, ah, like crying, you know. Quería más historias, right. no se quería dormir. Right, so I got up and I was like, I'm going to let her cry. It's okay. By She'll the way, her it. bed is in our room. Yes, it is. <laughs> Anyways, so I got up and I went to bed and... But you should have seen, man, the, the John Chingo sentimiento. She was just like, my papi, papi. And I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and then I get mad. I'm like, dude, just let her cry. Tu, but yeah. here is, let me go ahead and give you a little bit of background information about her daughter. She knows she has her dad right here. And I'm so happy that he's a softie, but it's part of her manipulating him because she's like, I don't want to go to bed. So if I cry and throw a tantrum and tell him more mas historias, he's going to stay up with me. So that's why I'm just like, this is part of her plan. It's already 10 yeah. o'clock. What the hell is she doing up? No, I know, and, I know. And for him, I know, like, he's just, that's what I'm saying. A lot of, maybe a lot of women also can see that, like, las niñas tienen aquí a los papas, you know? So that's why I tell him, like, dude, just get your ass to bed. But why are you jealous, girl? Oh, Shit. hell. Hey, but you know what? There is moms out there que son celosas. Yeah? Las hijas. Yes. Because like, you don't get my attention that or i mean like there's literally moms out there that are jealous out there that like are straight up legit jealous of their daughters for real they are i'm not just valentina she's my daughter i love her so much yeah. al contrario i love you being a loving affectionate dad it melts my heart but i'm just saying like don't, don't let her don't be doing that gay ass shit don't, don't, don't <laughs> manipulate like don't let her manipulate you you're you're, you're such a tomboy i love it what <laughs> 
<laughs> See, and that's Mas the thing. Boot. No, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I had a balanced life. Okay, I really did. My mom even says, like, hasta la fecha, no, esta sí. Esta le saca los pinches ojos a su papá. Like, my dad también igual. You know what I mean? And he even says, yeah. like, cuando íbamos de compras, dejamos a tu mamá y, y like, tú y Panchito compraban todos. He says that. Oh. Like, <laughs> my dad, like, it was the best of both worlds. Yeah. But I do see, like, now that I'm older, like, damn, dude, I couldn't do half. Like, my, my brother was able to go to outdoor school in eighth grade, and I couldn't go. Oh, remember you told me you couldn't go to Camp High Hill? Yeah, the outdoor Dang. school. That's what we called it. That. And it's like, I couldn't go because I was a girl, but my brother did stuff like that. And I'm that like, damn. A, See? That was a nice experience. For any of you watching that are in the LA Unified School District that went to Camp High Hill, let me know. It was tight. It was tight. Yeah. Okay. Or so let her know because yeah, she what didn't I'm go. Saying. No, I didn't. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. You. You deprive your, your daughters from doing stuff the boys can, and it sucks because it's like, como siempre tienes esa pinche espinita, or maybe that's why I love being outdoors. I mean, I've always liked being outdoors, but yeah. it just, no, it's a truth. Point being, no matter what, however you raise your kids, lo que sea, you're going to mold who they are in the future. And it's yeah, a truth true, because Miss Kathy from Pen Parents Academy. Shout out to Miss Kathy. Yes, you are the best. We love you. She said, you know what, Myra? Because, you know, we have to talk about like our upbringing. And so she's like, this is why you're so passionate about women, empowering women, because like the way you were raised or like the things you experienced. I'm like, uh, you're right. Like, you're yeah. so right. Because it just, you, you just remember the message, right? Like the message that you're sending your kids, no matter what you do, how you do it, when you do it, the consistency. Yeah. 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 And, and well, I mean, we're, we're fortunate to have this kind of outlets nowadays today, you know, back then our parents, but they didn't have this, this kind of uh, outlets or information out there available to them. So now it's like, what do you think they had? You know, what is equals like what? Imagine. Well, beeper. Tenían el beeper, el pichi beeper sasa. But imagínate, like, who do you think gave them beeper consejos? Y, so how did they figure quarters. it out? No, no, but it's que they figured out themselves, honestly. And they, I guess they just, uh their values whatever values that they, they were taught <laughs> dang dude this, man oh, i'm done dude. dude oh my god no i'm kidding i feel like i'm being bullied all the I'm time i'm just kidding continue talking it's just you're taking forever <sighs> you see guys this is this is what i i gotta live through man <laughs> a, a, a abusive relationship <laughs> And she's over here trying to mask it, my cheese. That look, look who's <laughs> oh look, who's being a bully. Oh my god! Dang, dude, me, me cortaste toda la inspiración. It's because you were taking forever. Ay, hasta me cansé yo también. <laughs> <laughs> so you're even getting tired of taking. Woo! You know what? Before we wrap up this segment, can you talk about what happened the other night when you stuck at Davia Picula? Stop it. Oh, <laughs> so. uh it was in the middle of the night and we're asleep and you know usually you, you kind of like just reach over just to make sure like oh pues tan, you know so in my mind i wanted to touch her belly right and I'm so like, i'm like oh. sleeping like this right yeah, or like this on my back we're both sleeping on our backs and and i'm trying to like uh reach her belly so right away i just automatically just do this right so <laughs> i went like this and i grabbed <laughs> I grabbed her titty and I was like, I was like, oh shit, Maida. And she's like, what? I was like, oh, it's your titty. <laughs> He's like, I thought you be cool. He thought my titty was I my really, stomach. I really thought the baby was like about to pop or something. I was like, oh shit. Like the baby's like pushing or something, you know? And for me, I was like, Debbie's trying to get uh, it on at three in the I morning. Like, <gasps> I was like, dang. I was like, oh, it's your titty. I was like, oh, no. like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I just, Anyways, you thought I was gonna get a frisky? Yeah, I really thought you were. I'm gonna get sped up this and take a frisky too. Los vios son los tuyos. Oh yeah. Anyways, that's another story. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's not go there. <laughs> but anyways, are you done? Yes. Are you I'm done bashing on men for today? I am for today. Moral of are the you sure. Yes. Let me go ahead okay. and give the moral of the story. La moral de la historia. Here's the moral of this podcast. We this have to end machismo because it sh because it shouldn't be a generational like thing. A, it's like a, when uh, 
TV, you know, on TV, they have the English news, you know, and the oh, Spanish yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Los, los Así también yo, chingado. Okay, that, okay. We need to end el machismo. Acabar con el machismo. Because it shouldn't be a generational thing. Porque no es una generación. Because no matter what, <laughs> because no matter what, it's all about the messages that you're sending to your children. No matter what, there's always an action reaction. Your kids are going to react to the actions you do. And believe it or not, your kids are watching you. They parrot everything you do, especially your, I mean, boys and girls. So we need to end that. We have to just empower our kids and not disable them where they can't be self-sufficient. And we just... Don't let's not throw women under the bus anymore too much like that. Like disregard them or no son seres humanos. We're all human beings and we all should be have the same equality and the same rights. I agree, but the fuck do we know? We're just this is our experiment and this is what we're experimenting with. So take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes, we really hope that you enjoyed um, podcast number four. Yes. It was about just machismo and I guess how raising your kids has an impact. Yes. Right. And we'll always go back to our times because I just feel like those times were awesome. Yeah, they were. You know? Yeah, there's a, and apparently Growing I am up. who I am because uh, the way I was raised. That's the yeah, correlation you I know, you made. I know, I know. Yeah. That is true, but. But no, you're doing a good job. Like, thank you. I, I, honestly, like you're doing a great job empowering this these women. La parientonas ahí en el YouTube. Yes, parientonas, ladies y comadres. But, uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for visiting our channel. Muchas gracias por visitar nuestro canal. Yes, I think estrellas. you know what? I think on the next podcast, I think it'd be really awesome for us just to answer a shitload of questions. Sí, sí, déjenos sus comentarios. Yes, it can be anything and make them fun and juicy. Tampoco, it's not like uh, I don't know, like that, boring. Anyway, like that. exactly <laughs> like you that. You going, know what I mean? Yeah. Like that. So, pero may, no, dejen sus comentarios. Anything. Yes. Hágale, hágale like. Like al video, si le gustó, hágale like. Y si no le gustó, también hágale like. Uh -huh. porque los Suscríbanse. Porque los... They don't... Sí, I'll do it in Spanish, you do it in English. ¿Qué? Para que nos entiendan, chingado. Oh, sí, sí, dale pues. Pues ya dije, es que suscríbanse, hágale like, comenten. ¿Qué más pueden hacer? Uh, share it. A share, ahí en el share. Facebook. Wow. Este, en el Instagram, también hay... Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you yes. share, give us some feedback, make sure you comment some questions that you want us to answer in the next one. It, it'll be like a QA. and a That'd and be cool, yeah. We'll, we'll ne the next one, just give us a topic. What to talk, talk, talk about? <laughs> <laughs> what to talk about? And then we go from there. Pues a ver, a ver qué pasa. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Episode four, parejando con dejamos, Randy y el con el Randy el Mayra con Mayra y el Randy. Ahí lo dejamos con algo a algo, ver. algo levesón ahí de los de los noventa cuando andamos en la troconona ya. A ver. <risa> Hoy no más. Tres mujeres. Me acuerdo con esa rolita andaba en cruising ahí con los camaradas ahí. Es por la high school, es por la yorda. Ok, pues súbele. Entre los mezquitales. Es que no. Claro que sí, oiga. We out. Later. Bye.